Did you know that people forget on average 70% of what they learned within 24 hours? Now, shocking, isn't it? Adding quizzes in your e-learning project can help people remember more of what they learned. And to build effective quizzes in Articulate Storyline, by the end of this video, you know exactly how to set up a quiz where a user can see his score on every slide of the quiz in Articulate Storyline. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Now, to create a quiz where a user sees his current score on every slide, you could build a solution with variables in Storyline. But there is a faster way with the score variables that belong to a result slide. Now, I have a brand new Storyline project here. And let's check the variables very quickly. So, I'll go to variables here. Now, you'll see there aren't any project variables. And with built-in, you don't see any score variables at this moment. So, let's close this. Now, to show the result slide variables, I will set up a quiz with uh, one question for now and a result slide. So let me double click this to go to the slide view. Now, what I could do is I could go to slides, uh, pick a graded question and a result slide question. But uh, the AI wants also something. Thus, let's choose a quiz slide and result slide from the content library. So I'll click content library here. And now if you select quizzing, you only see quiz templates. So I want yeah, the Synergy templates to use for this project today. So I'll select the multiple choice. I hold my control key and I also select the quiz result slide. So I have now two slides selected and I click on insert two slides. Now do some tidying up very quickly. So let's remove the first blank slide. Yes, I want that. And now we can continue. Now let's check the variables again. So I'll go to variables. And under built-in variables, you see now, if I scroll down, that there are here four result variables, two pause variables, and two score variables. Now, and we are going to use the score variables, and the, that is the score points variable. Because this variable is not only active on the result slide, but you can also use this variable on all slides of your quiz. So what I'll do, I'll click on OK here, and I'll go to my question slide. Now, I'm already there. So what I'll do is I'll add a text box. So you can go to insert text box or press Ctrl T on your keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll type score and now I'll go to insert reference. I'm on the built-in variable step. I scroll down and choose results score points and click on OK. And now Storyline adds a, a reference to the variable. But I can imagine that you ask yourself, but how does the variable get filled during a quiz? That's a good question. And therefore, let's go to form view here. And here down under a feedback and branching behind the correct answer, you see that a correct answer gets 10 points and zero answers for the incorrect points. Now, and these points are the points that a user will see. So what we're going to do now is, and let's return to slide view for that, copy the slide. So I'll have now two slides and a quiz result slide. And now what we can do is um, check our result slide because here they are using the percent score. So let's delete this score here and I'll go to insert and to reference again. And here I fill in the score points. And uh, let's remove this one and here I can remove this one and go to insert reference and here I'll add the pass points so result pass points and what we can do now is uh, yeah, preview this quiz and see how it works so I am now in the preview mode for articulate storyline and you see here that my quiz score is zero so let's answer this quiz correctly submit and you see that I've scored 10 points now I'm on my second quiz slide so answer the second quiz slide correctly and you see that I've now deserved 20 points and I had a passing score of 60 points. Now let's close this preview and go back to our quiz question because I want to show you something else. So let's go to the first question and I'll go back to form view here because you don't have to give each answer 10 points. You can give a correct answer points range in form 1 that you can see here if I click to a thousand at the zeros so to a thousand points and 
For an incorrect answer, you don't have to give zero points. It's also possible to subtract points from your user score. So you can, for instance, use minus one or two minus thousands. Now, and in this example, the user only gets points for a correct or an incorrect answer, but maybe you want to give points per answer option, and this is also possible in Storyline. So to do this, at the top here, by score, we set this from by question to by score, and you see now that Storyline changes the points from here to here, and that every choice has its own points. So what you can do, for instance, here, give this answer option 10 points, this answer option 5 points, this answer option I want to give it minus five and let's give this answer option also minus five points now let's preview our mini quiz again so I'll go to preview preview this scene let's answer the first answer uh, incorrectly so I have uh, now minus po five points and I can do it again I don't want it so let's do it continue and now I'm on the second slide so I'll give this answer uh, the correct answer, the question, the correct answer, and you should continue. So I've scored now five points, uh, first minus five, and then 10 points makes it five points. I didn't, uh, yeah, completed the quiz because I needed a passing score of 16 points. So this way, with the variables order for the result slide, you can uh, build a quiz where the user sees his current quiz score on every slide of the quiz. I'm transforming my Articulate Storyline classroom training and also my YouTube tutorials to a laser-focused online course on how to create engaging e-learning training with Articulate Storyline. Now, are you interested? You can join my waiting list and you'll be the first one to know when my online course will launch. You can find the link to the waiting list in the description of this video below. And if you want to create great engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.